Hi, it's Gaz here from Moth Couture um, with like our last video of 2020, I suppose. And uh, we'll do a little update on what we've been up to and then we'll do a kind of introduction of what 2021's got in store for Moth Couture. Uh, but firstly, I'd just like to say a massive thanks. Um, it's been quite a um, roller coaster year. Um, we started Moth Couture last year and uh, kind of tried to gain a presence on the internet, like some sort of following. And uh, with no kind of products to put up there, no services to put up there, but all like in, in ideas in the back of my head, um, I had to start somewhere. So what I started doing was sharing positive affirmations um, because Moth Couture, uh, if you remember back to my first video, it was kind of, it was born out of me identifying my own um, anxieties um, things that were causing me sort of depression in my own life and um, creativity helped me deal with that and creativity helped me overcome some of these um, um, issues you know help me deal with them and um, so I wanted to create a brand uh, that kind of it could sort of build it grow a community of people that would share their own creative ideas and positive affirmations in a bid to support each other but then the, the sort of the side of that as well, the, the business side of that, I suppose the brand is me sort of sharing my own creative ideas with the world, you know, and kind of selling them to anyone that kind of likes them, you know. And this is very much what it's about. Um, I've, I've served a long career where to do well in the career, you have to be quite malleable. You have to um, kind of, if, if, if you were for one boss one moment of time, you know, and that one boss might like you to behave or do certain things in a particular way, and then the next boss comes in and he doesn't like that. He wants you to do it in a different way. You really have to adapt very quickly to change. And adapting is uh, being agile is a, a very useful thing to do, but not when it means that you've got to change you. You are you. And Moth Couture is very much um, um, supportive of people being their true selves. And that's what it's about, the community. You know, so whether you're being creative or... Um, with a piece of paper and a pencil, uh, writing song lyrics or a paintbrush and you're painting um, a masterpiece, you know, um, or whether that's you doing a tail grab on a skateboard or whether that's you doing a grind on a, a set of blades or, a, I don't know, 360 on a set of skis. Uh, creativity um, is in everyone. Everyone has an element of creativity. And, and Moth Couture Community Group, which is all like sort of online kind of community on, uh, on Facebook, that's a place for people to share their own creative uh, ideas um, in, in a way to try and inspire other people. It's great because you might be um, sort of, you might be involved in a sport and other people in the community might be like kind of interested in that sport, but they've never tried it themselves. So it's a great place to share uh, insight into these things. And you might bring some new people into your sport and kind of uh, pastime. Or likewise, it might be something like a sort of woodwork or it might be um, music or something, you know. Uh, so that works. So thank you for everyone that's been involved with the Moth Couture Community Group. And uh, hopefully that will continue to grow and be useful. I uh, get a lot of private messages from people telling me how uh, um, valuable they think the community group is, you know, how it's a positive place. And, and that's fantastic. Thank you so much for these messages. If I can ask of one favour, um, and it's not a stop if, you, if you're involved, it's just please share those private messages in the community group because it, it'll allow other people to see it. So sending me a private message is fantastic. It lets me, it reassures me that what we're doing is good. But the community group is there to uh, kind of support everyone, not just kind of like um, pat me on the back. Um, it's yours, it's your community group, so start like using it as such. Um, as for Moth Couture brand, right, so when we started, like I say, we had to start somewhere, and at the time I didn't have my workshop built, which if you've uh, been watching my YouTube videos this year during lockdown, uh, so I didn't have a workshop built, I didn't have uh, my handmade products available, because I had nowhere to make them, um, and I didn't have my uh, sort of very limited um, uh, Bijou uh, line of merchandise, baseball tops and uh, and such, you know, and t-shirts, and uh, which will grow, uh, but it's all sort of started from somewhere, you know, seeds, you know, and we've got to grow it, and, you know, 
slow and steady wins the race hopefully um i don't have a load of money to pump into stuff so it's just like uh, all pennies go into it and um, but we've just got to be careful with it you know because i want it to have legs i want longevity in this but we started with the positive affirmations we still have a lot of the people who liked what we were doing in the early days still following us with the things that I make, you know, um, everything has a positive spin on it. So I think people do like that. Um, actually looking back at sort of viewer ratings and feedback, I think a lot of people really like that. And probably less people like the, the videos I was doing, of, not how-to videos, but like phases, I suppose, where I'd got when I was doing particular projects. But... Ultimately, I'll do the things that I do, and if you like it, that's fantastic. And if you don't, well, thanks very much for not uh, beasting us too much in the comments, you know. Um, but the plan was always to end up in here, the metal shop, like the garage, working on bikes, cool old bikes. And that was always the plan, but I had to start somewhere. So we did the positive affirmations. We'll carry on doing the st stuff that I do in my own time anyway, like the, the woodworking and stuff, you know, and the upcycling with glass uh, bottles and, and bits and pieces and making bits of furniture and stuff. Make them for me. And then I make them for friends and stuff. And then it was like, well, when there was an interest, let's make some and then put them on the internet and see if we get any buyers, you know, and or takers. And we've had a few bites, you know, on the website, which is great. So there's been a few projects going on, uh, paying customers, which has been amazing. Uh, but it was always, that, that will continue but it was always to get in here and be working on the bikes. So six and a half minutes in now, I'll very quickly sort of give you where I am at the moment. Ongoing competition that's just started like today and then kind of where 2021 is going to take with. So Remy Garage, a quick heads up here. Um, only a normal size garage, you know, try and get it organized as best as I can. And um, But it was always with the intention that I was going to be doing some sort of metal work in here. Now I'm limited because I don't have like engineering um, um, machinery. I don't have a lathe, I don't have a miller machine. So some stuff at this moment in time will have to be farmed out. Um, some stuff I can do. I do have a welder, I do have a grinder, so I can cut metal. Um, it takes a little bit longer because I don't have any sort of um, metal saws. But I am able to fabricate in here and that's entirely what I'm hoping to be doing. Um, I'm not a mechanic. Uh, I'll be very much learning, like I did with a lot of the other stuff, the carpentry and stuff. I'll be learning as I go along. Um, but I hope you stay with us and I hope it's interesting enough for you. Um, I do have some cool ideas, right? And it's just me getting them across into reality, you know. Um, you know, and, and I hope that we'll manage to pull it off. I certainly won't stop until I do, so bear with us, you know. Hopefully it'll be a good um, journey. So quick heads up, here's my kind of ideas board. They're not hand selected, like carefully selected images to go up here. These are kind of my inspirational pieces that are going up. This top one here, just do my hands the wrong way, is my 1958 Triumph 21. It's a 350cc bike, beautiful little thing, uh, Kickstarter. Um, and yeah, these are my ideas for how they're going to look. Top one is what I'm going to go with, right? Bottom one is like sort of a variant of it, you know, with a, a luggage rack on the back. And it was just carry on the theme from the original luggage rack on the, um, the grill on the, the tank. But I'm probably not going to go with that. Bottom one's called the Spoiled Brat. Brat Jap style bikes. Cool. Everywhere. Uh, like sort of kind of a 70s, 80s kind of stripped back um, scrambler looking thing. You know, with a flat seat, bench seat. And kind of this one was called my uh, Spoiled Brat. It's based on a Triumph um, SE 865. Uh, but a lot of work we're going to go into that to changing it. And then it's kind of, I haven't went off the idea. It's called the Spoiled Brat because I was pretty much going to, this fabrication goes on then, like I've uh, did with some of my woodwork, and I like the mnemonic that the military use, KISS. Uh, keep it simple, stupid. So a lot of the engineering that would go on would be behind the scenes, you wouldn't see it. You'd have to think about how it's been done. And so it would look very basic, but it would have a lot of expensive components on it, hence the, the name Spunk Brat. It's not that I've chinned that idea off at the moment, it's just I have a better way if, uh, or a different idea for to use the stuff that I've bought and I've kind of gone with a different route. It's in Tracing People here at the moment, not because I've copied it off anyone else, it's all my thing, but with Tracing People I find that once I've got my very, my uh, idea down, it's just easier to manipulate, you know, change little bits and pieces and then once I've got it and go firm. Um, and then just some sketches here, I mean, coming up with ideas or frames and it's clearly never going to happen, I'm any bloody bike builder like that you know what I mean I can't build frames or so yet I might learn down the future you know but this is just me pissing about doing some sketches 
Um, here's my fucking jobs list and um, for this first build that we're doing. And originally I did have this sectioned off into three bits and it was kind of like uh, for three bikes that I've got <laughs> ongoing here, like three jigsaws. We've got four bikes in the garage and um, <laughs> very expensive jigsaws with no instructions on how to put them back together. So I've just got to put them back together how I want to put them back together. And, uh, which was always the idea. I just joke about them being jigsaws. But I figured I just need to clear it, start again. So yesterday we got this all cleared off the board, concentrate on one project, uh, one at a time. And even this whole board here, the jobs list, is just phase one. And it's just to get us to a rolling chassis uh, where I'm content with things uh, fitting correctly and this, that, and the other. Once we've done that, we'll get rid of all this. Phase two will go up there and it'll be the next job on there. So very detailed here instructions of what I need to be doing. Um, moving around, um, yeah, you see I'll be fitting engines and stuff on the bike here. A couple of Triumphs, Honda, my old trials bike there, which was a donor for this bike. Um, yeah, a couple of frames hanging up on the wall. Uh, and then my big frame underneath for my big 865. Oh, you can't even see it. It's hidden away there. Springer forks and all sorts of crazy shit going on. But this is the first project here, right? Now, cast your mind back. Um, Steve McQueen, absolute legend, obviously. And, um, you know, well known for his um, sort of love of triumphs. And in particular, what he wrote in, in helped design his desert sledge. Uh, desert sled, not sledge. And um, I won't be going to the desert anytime soon. But, you know, as much as Hereford's quite rural, it still is a city. And uh, I thought, what cooler than to do a, um, a city sled? And it's going to be my triumph take on a, um, on a McQueen. It's going to be something that's cool. Cool enough that uh, sort of the king of cool could fucking ride on. Oh, that's a swear jaw. Um, but it's going to be something that's going to be sort of useful uh, for 2021 traffic and kind of, um, you know, reliability and stuff. Anyway, here we are. It's very basic at the moment uh, it's a, it comprises of a frame a back wheel a front wheel a set of forks and uh, but it's going to be kind of think of your old hill climber bikes um so you've got your your traditional hill climbers albeit this is going to be rigid and um but yeah using modern components i think it's going to be an absolutely sick bike uh, anyone that likes cool stuff keep watching uh, there will be fabrication goes on here but like i mentioned before it's going to be um Keep it simple, stupid. So you'll probably have to look twice to figure out how things is done. Uh, but until then, please stay tuned. Uh, your support's been fantastic so far. Uh, please keep it up. Uh, follow us on um, Facebook. Um, is it Facebook? Yeah, follow us and like us on Facebook, uh, Moth Couture. Once you're on there, you get invited into the Moth Couture community group, which is what I mentioned at the start of this video. Uh, follow us on Instagram which is where we put most of our posts up every day, you know. Signed if, uh, we'll, we'll put content up in there and it shares across the Facebook. Um, we're on Insta, uh, no, what's it called? LinkedIn now. Very corporate, you know, but I figured, you know what it is? There's a lot of these corporate people that work in business that are um, stylish people, you know, they like cool stuff. And so let's tap into them, see if they like it. It might be, I was gonna swear again there. It might be upsetting some of the purists on there who love, you know, using LinkedIn for what it's intended, you know, looking for job vacancies in particular fields and what have you. Uh, but there is some people on there who um, really do like what I'd put up there and appreciate it, which is pretty cool. Obviously, we've got YouTube here now, so I appreciate your support here. Please let your friends know about it, anyone that's mega creative or just like sort of how-to videos or even Geordie blokes sort of having a go at doing something. Um, make sure you subscribe so you keep the videos um, coming in as they get posted. And then finally, the website, uh, www.mothcratura.com. I understand it's a bit of a thing to say in it, Mothcratura, but uh, if you just pronounce it Cretura, easy enough. Right, well, until next time, um, I wish us all the best for the new year. Take care. Bye.